right, man, we back. Good fella Sports TV. Um, some more news. Let's just call it rumors broke from TMZ about Juice World's passing away. If you didn't know, the Chicago rapper, uh, 21 years old, uh, had a seizure walking through uh, the Chicago Midway Airport um, at this private jet landed at 1 a.m. in the morning. And um, he was bleeding from the mouth. When the paramedics arrived, he was alive. And then, you know, he got to the hospital. At some point, they determined that he had passed away. Um, so that was that is factual right now. It's about him passing away. But let's talk a little bit about um, some of the things that's going on that a police report um, uh, took from some of the uh, witnesses at the scene or that was on the plane with them. Uh, make sure that subscribe button, bell icon button, share the video. Um, but uh, like I said, Chicago rap on fire, man. I mean, since Chief Keith, you got Lil Dirk, you got uh, FBG Baby Goat, you got you got a lot of Montana 300. I don't know if he's still around. Hopes I got his name right. And, you know, Juice World was part of that new movement. Uh, but they said when uh, authorities, I guess, did an investigation of the plane, he had 70 pounds of marijuana tucked away in suitcase. So remember, he on a private jet. So I'm assuming, me, never been on a private jet, I'm assuming that they don't really check the luggage. He just walked through and he stashed 70 pounds of weed in the suitcase. And I was talking about yesterday when you have seizures. Um, like I said, I had a guy work with, he had a seizure on his high low while I was running and um you know one of the things that that helped that end up you know people said that helped the seizures was marijuana smoke and um he has 70 pounds of marijuana um and he has some codeine syrup that was found on the plane y'all know what that is but um his closest ones on the plane to him or his associates said that he had a pill problem so um they said he took some unknown pills uh, on the plane and um right now they said he had a perk problem but it's not determined by the coroner or whoever does um the lab work on a dead body that um uh, percocets was was the cause of the problem but they did say he, he popped some un, unknown pills on the plane and uh found with 70 pounds of marijuana on the plane and two of his security guards uh were arrested one was released without bail i think they got caught with weapons possession on the plane, the other one was reached on fifteen hundred dollars uh, bail. But real quick, the thing about the security is that, um, come on, man. At the end of the day, you know, I know it's hard and it's harder for dudes to travel state to state with a gun. But you know, like somebody told me back in the day, uh, growing up, I'd rather get caught with it than without it. So these rappers got to be protected with t people taking their chains and, and, and pressing them from city to city. Go look up that video about a few years ago. When they caught two chains slipping in the Bay Area, somebody pulled out a big ass gun, and he got to running. You know what I'm saying? Um, you know these, these rappers got to be protected. No wonder Kodak Black was carrying the gun on him because from city to city, you know, ain't no laws if goons carrying guns or not. They don't care. So, you know, his security should be, you know, pretty much, pat, you know, slap him on the wrist. But they protecting the rapper. You know what I'm saying? Especially in your hometown with all these dudes, they got you know killed in their hometown. You know. Come on. It's damn near, you know, a monthly thing with these rappers from Jimmy Wapo to Lil Snoop. Um, you know, a lot of dudes. And then you got guys, people forget about the kid uh, uh, that rapped with Akon, Dollar, whatever his name is. He got slumped in, in, in L.A. I think at the mall or whatever for, for trying to take somebody else's girl. So, you know, these rappers got to be protected. But you know what? They glorifying being a user, you know, and you know what I'm saying? Ain't nothing cool about it. You know what I'm saying? Uh, you got situations where people play with a little bit of the devil's dandruff. Um, and, and that's always been kind of a Hollywood thing and a music, music thing. But, you know, devil's dandruff do have its benefits. And that's why God put it on this earth. But that's another story for another day. And these pills are getting out of control. You know what I'm saying? First, in the 90s, like I said, it's always been from the 70s to the, to the 80s. A little coke, this and that. Um, that's a rich man's drug, pure coke. And then you always had the weed smokers and stuff of that nature, but now they popping prescription pills. You know what I'm saying? And now they taking, they taking, they've been always taking cough syrup. But when you mix the two, or you you keep getting more and more addictive, addictive, you want to make that drink stronger. You want more Percocet. So at the end of the day, when you the man, and this happened in a lot of situations, when you the man, can't nobody tell you what to do. You see how young NBA, young NBA young boy t kicked his mom out of his house, out her out the house he bought her. Because when you making the money, can't nobody tell you. Now, if you're a millionaire, multi-millionaire, billionaire, how can somebody that didn't do it tell you what to do? 
You know, and that's why it's always strong. That's why it's always important to have a strong father figure or a male mentor that that can really shake you up and and and, and really keep your keep your feet down and get you help because your associates are trying to tell you, but then they, then you cut him off for telling you the truth. You know, so at the end of the day, you can't blame the people around him. They probably tried interventions, or they probably were too scared he was gonna cut them off. So, you know, ultimately, his un, you know it was his own undoing. But uh, hopefully somebody can, can learn about it. They can learn about it. Hopefully this make rappers, you know, throw the perks away, throw the lean away, and, and just, you know, just do do something softer. But like I always said, man, marijuana is a gateway drug. People don't want to believe it, and it ha and it's addictive. It may not be addictive to you, but somebody out there. But um, appreciate everybody for checking in. I linked that article from TMZ in the description. Don't forget me on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter. Reach out to the email if you got business questions, quality response, your video quest, want to make a donation in the link description. Best way to, to help the channel out is to share the video. Let me know what you think in the comment section. We gone.